Hi, this is will be my uh, final project. So, uh, let's get started. So, one of the basic uh, technology, I think the first and foremost is the uh, sequencer that I used in the beginning to show the cutscene. So, um, this is the overall gameplay. It's just a first person horror shooter. Um, and you can see some of the controls here, although it's a bit flashy here and there. Uh, the flashing light I use is the uh, uh, on event tick. Just set the I toggle the visibility on and off using a actor blueprint class for the light. Um, so pressing F will on a flashlight, although it's not very strong. And pressing the and the, the flashlight bar is represented at the top left by uh, the white bar below. So the so is the it's so called the flashlight health. So when it goes below forty percent, is as you can see, it's blinking. That means it's like slowly dying out. And once it reaches zero, it will recharge by itself. And yes, that's the flashlight uh, feature. The above is the green bar, which is the health bar. So and yeah, this is the uh, tutorial basic first level. So let's get to it first. Uh, one of the technology, I guess, is just the basic door which is just using a timeline to rotate the the door another technology is this enemy it's done using uh, AI pawn sensing so it's, uh, it'll be on a uh, on side uh, axis or side scope and yeah it's done using ragdoll technology and this shooting is also done with the first person uh, normal shooting template where I just added, I don't make, I want to make it like a shotgun spread, so I added a few more bullets to the actual shot, uh, and added particle effects to, yeah, I use particle effects and apply it onto the bullets itself. Okay, this then is the real feature or gimmick of my game, which is this virtual keyboard right here. If I were to type in a code or anything using right click. And if I press enter, then I want this door to open. But this code, the player doesn't know what, what combination of code it is. So I've hidden the code throughout the levels. So, but for the tutorial, the code is like down, the, down this hallway on the right. Where I'll, I'll teach them what to, what to write or what to type in. So let's go find the code. And yeah, the code is down, th down there by this table with a blinking door. I mean, a blinking light. Yeah, and then there's one more enemy here. So yeah, there's, there's the code on the table. And if I press E to interact, this uh, UI pop-up will appear. And will tell the player basically what to do throughout these levels. So yeah, the, for now the code is 4512. And what I've done here is I've also made, made it an actual static mesh object. So when I, when I pick it, when I read this letter, the letter from the table is gone so you can, as you can see so if I pick it up and if I, if I press E or exit the trigger box again it will go back to the table so yeah that's the code now is 4512 another feature I guess is that if I were to type the wrong code so let's say 4523 if I press enter there will be alarm and the alarm will attract more enemies or more zombies down the hall. This is this uh this will repeat until I think through a uh, array count or until the sound dies down. So if I delete and write in the actual uh, number, it turn green and I can move on. So this is the second level. Oh boy, I missed one. Oh, and I'm nearly dead. So yeah, there is uh, one more code, so I need to find out the uh, codes again, scattered throughout the level. So the difficulty of this is that I spread it, uh, instead of putting all the four numbers in one page, I spread it out like two or four pages. So for now it's two pages, so the, the place to find out the uh, two numbered codes within this uh, level. So let's say if I kill one here and I shoot one here, 
and the player has to explore, explore, and find there's the letter on the on the bench. And uh, another difficulty is that uh, these and these pap these codes are so called numbered accordingly. So uh, entry one, this is clearly entry one. So this is so the player must type seven eight first, and they will find the the second entry that is somewhere here in this level. So I guess the joy or uh, the uh, fun of this whole game is just to for the player's exploration. For those who like horror themed, uh, uh, first person shooters and thrillers, to just find around this area to and find the code, or find or, or get through by by killing enemies in the dark and finding uh, uh, codes to doors. I'm um, yeah. Here's the second one, and this is uh, eight two, so the code is seven eight eight two. Uh, I guess one diffic one uh, feedback or uh, difficulty is that the player has to remember all this. Uh, codes in the head is not given in an inventory kind of system but I guess that's part of the challenge as well instead of giving it and spoon feeding them this just to let them really remember the, the, the correct code and combination so 7882 is correct and we'll move on so yeah this is the third level the final level you see it's more uh, brightly lit I guess it want to have the player to navigate through the dark all the time and now the final difficulty part of this level is this code is being the code is being split into four four parts and instead of telling them entry one two three or four i'm dividing it by months so the player must remember the order of the months to correctly represent the order of the code for example like march comes first then october comes second or October comes last, depending on the the throughout the month. Uh, so I guess one feature is that usually I'm I also won't hide the I usually won't put the code so clearly distinct. For example, if this table I won't put the code so clearly seen here. I put it somewhere hidden among this area. For example, is on this chair right here. So this is June. So let's say let's take June as the first code and it's like three. So that maybe the uh, first code is three, and here maybe here's another area, and it says March. So June comes after March. So five comes first. So it's five three. I think the third code is here, where they must navigate and explore this kind of pillar area. To find the code that's on one of these pillars, and you can see there's an enemy right there, and the code's right here. So it's August, so it could be 539. 539. So let's find the last code, which is up this staircase right here, and you'll just have to navigate through this hallway or multitude door. So maybe it's I know it's not there. I know the last one is here. Okay, so this now is 10th August. This is 9th August. So this would, so the code would be five three four nine. Um, the technology for the virtual keyboard, I think I've gone through in the previous Get to Forty class, but it's just basically a widget, uh, text box and a widget button being put onto an actor blueprint and this red line is just a uh, uh, component called widget uh, interaction so that I can interact with the button and interact with the text, uh, editable text box so if I right click and type 5349 you should enter and this is the end of the level and the last is just another cutscene another technology and after that you just end so yeah, that's the, the end of the project.